Well, 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 man. It's your main main DJ Premium J, and we are back again with another episode of Who's Up Sports. I'm here with my main man, F you to the ego, the man with the biggest ego. I just be like envisioning like. You will want like an edit that go, oh, like when that happens. <laughs> I don't know why my brain goes there. But, uh, hey, man, I see you dressed for the occasion. Oh, yeah, you know, you know. A little something. I'm a Football little, team. I got sports themed, but I, I should be in that attire. I got mine right here, though, you did. I don't did. know, after last week. You want to still be wearing that one. Oh, we going to get straight into it. <laughs> You know what? Rapid fire, man. Let's just go and get into it. Quarter one, the NFC East. Mm -hmm. That means the New York Giants. Yeah. The Dallas Cowboys. I thought you were going to throw some shade at them right there. But yeah, that's cool. I'm just going to get everybody (laughs) everybody regular announced. Uh, Washington football team. Yeah, yeah. Formerly known as the Washington Redskins. And the Philadelphia Eagles. That's my extra that I put extra some, sauce on. Put something like crickets behind it. No, 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 no. We, we, in case y'all can't see oh, out there in TV land, we got, you know, the that's signature. the signatures of the do any of them Super Bowl play? team. Oh, okay. That's yeah. the Super Bowl team. Oh, guys, do any of them still play for y'all? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we got a few linemen. Jason Kelsey. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, Fletcher Cox was on that team. Brandon Graham, who sadly tore his ACL. Mm. Well, let's get into it, though, man. Let's get into it, though, man. Um, the Eagles are looking good. The Cowboys' offense looks good. Okay, not really last week though, but yeah. The Redskins' defense. Washington football team. See, I'm, here I go. I, it's, it's hard to make that adjustment. I've already did it. Though. It's like it's programmed in my head now. The Washington football team defense is what we thought it was. Yeah. As advertised. True. The Giants are up in the air. Everybody's record is 1-1, one one, though. So, it is pretty even like it normally is. What do you got? What are we doing? Picking winners or... Where they Highlights. Let's, How they finish? Let's okay. So week one, I love the way the Eagles play. I believe Jalen Hurts actually made a statement, and even in this week two loss to San Francisco, uh-huh. just to let y'all out there know, this is right after week two. I mean, smack dab after the day after week two. Uh, yeah, that Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but. I love the way Jalen Hurts is performing, showing that he is the franchise quarterback. To me, he's proven that. Okay. So, no more Watson? I don't want it. Mm -mm. Okay. I don't want it. That's interesting. Uh, The run defense is... (sighs) Defensively, overall, is what I think needs to be the improvement. I love the speed of the offense. I, I just love that. Um... I really, I say all that to say, I really think that the Eagles are in a good shape to contend for this division this year. Okay, to contend. I like that word. I like it. So you're not giving them no. You're not saying that they're gonna win, but no. they're gonna contend. Okay. I the reason being is because I don't want to take up all the time, but Dallas offense looks very good to me. Very good. The defense is horrendous. Trash, dumpster, fire, mm-hmm. go. Um, offenses. It, it's scary good to me because the how many, I mean, with Gallup being hurt though, yeah, that, that kind of lessens. But quick. Pollard is stepping up. He's yeah, really it looks it, pretty. And then that tight end is starting to look like yeah. he's starting to grow into something. Mm-hmm. And the receiver threats out of Amari Cooper. Washington, y'all lost Ryan. That was the last time we were here. We were talking about Ryan Fitzpatrick. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's the question mark, obviously, in quarterback, but. If y'all just play defense the way y'all play, mm-hmm. and the running game just handles handles up on itself, it's 
y'all are right there. Got it. The Giants, once again, they are a question mark. And that could be a good thing and bad thing. I forgot who they play week one, but they looked good. I mean, the we always they always play us tough, and we always we we have lost to them most recently, but we did beat them as of last Thursday, so that was cool. Um, I think we definitely look better than the Giants. I think Washington football team definitely looks better than the Giants. Uh, the Cowboys did look scary and was able to compete with. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, so I thought that was pretty good. And that was a great game. Yes. That was crazy. So, I mean, offensively, like you said, but <clears throat> it's not all about offense, though. You know, you got to play some defense. And they play zero, you know. So. I mean, that defense looks terrible. Uh, they can't stop the pass or the run. So, who, who's the worst in the division in your eyes? The Giants. It's funny. I think it's Dallas. Mm. The reason why is because there's a solidified thing, one thing that people could pick on. You know how coaches scheme for matchups? Yeah. They scheme. Dallas, you already know what their weakness is. The fact that the Giants are a question mark, there's no real select weak. If there is a weakness for the Giants, it's the offensive line. Mm, yeah. But I think Sa- Saquon's not that healthy. And he had some spurts against us, which looked really good. So, if he ever gets to that. He just getting in. I think Kenny Galladay was looked good. Yeah, and then um, Slayton, Slayton was really good. They still have Shepard. Yeah, Shepard so. has been playing great. Yeah, they have the offense is there for them as well. People talk about that Cowboys offense, but, like, the division itself has a lot of yeah. offense in it. so I like the contrast of it, too, how everybody plays kind of a different type of yeah, ball. Style, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I agree. Uh, losing Fitzpatrick was, was tough for us, uh, for Washington football team. But Heineke has proven that he can play, at least. And uh, he, he don't have games like he threw the interception at the end of the Giants game and almost lost. And then he took us to kick the field goal. So... I think once he sharpens himself up and not makes the mistakes, we should be okay. Plus the fact y'all have so many weapons. Yeah, to, it helps. to help him. Yeah, Logan Thomas, um, Gibson, McLaurin went off. So I feel I think I think we are the strongest in the division because of that. McKissick, McKissick is playing out of his mind. Yeah, so I think that's the reason we are. We have I think all teams have a good offense. Who's the loser of the division? The Giants. The Giants. It just it just falls that way. They know how to lose games. Like okay. <laughs> you know, like the games that are close, they they they're gonna find a way to lose them. So and I think that's the one. I think the Eagles can escape with some wins that they probably shouldn't have. Like any given day, you see the Eagles beat the Saints. You like how that happen? You know what I mean? Like but but they do those games. They have those games. So but then you guys lose to the Giants or somebody, and you're like <laughs> we always <laughs> lose goes. to teams that just like why? It's like we play down to yeah, the and that, that's probably y'all's biggest fault. And then the Cowboys, they just struggle. They might have a they're good they're, offense. They're their own worst enemy. Yeah, one hundred percent. So that's why I would put Washington at the top. So you picking Washington as the the division winner? Yeah, I'm gonna say right now that. I believe the race is going to be so close that I don't want to pick a winner right now. Mm. And I am an Eagles fan. Die hard. We'll ride and die. I want us to make the playoffs. But I just believe that there's so many moving pieces going on in this division already. Yeah. That it's, after two weeks, it's still a little too fast. But I say two, I say two teams make the playoffs. So that's that's the, the next thing card. I was going to ask you. Do you think there'll be a wild card in? This I think division? it's going to either be the Cowboys or the Eagles. Whoever. Because people may talk about our division the most, but we are the most competitive division. Yeah, they always say, "Oh, the division sucks. They're all seven and whatever." But yeah, seven and eight. But we always fighting. Yeah, everybody is. It's a. That's what I'm saying. We all lose to each other, so it's not like you know, like if the whole division plays each other twice, you play every team twice, you're gonna lose games. Like if your division is competitive, you're gonna lose games, and a lot of those divisions aren't competitive. Like they have two solid teams that are trash or that aren't as good as the other two. You know, so that's why I think our division is pretty good or one of the best. Before we move to this next quarter and another. Division. We just passed week two since we finished in quarter one.